Hi everybody. Tonight I'm going to cozy up with a story called Treasure Hunt by Richard Scarry, read with permission by Simon and Schuster. Ahoy mateys, on yonder isle be the buried treasure, and this be our only map. Miss Honey is reading a pirate story from to Huckle's class. Did those pirates ever come back for the treasure? Lowly asks. I'm afraid we'll have to wait until tomorrow to find out. Miss Honey closes the book. School is over for today. Oh no, says the class, disappointed. Huckle and Lowly stayed behind after class. Huckle wants to ask Miss Honey a question. Miss Honey, do you think there is any treasure buried here in Busytown? Well, Huckle, in the olden days, pirates could have sailed into Busy Day. Maybe we can find their treasure, says Huckle. I bet they buried it on the beach, Lowly adds. Just remember, boys, Miss Honey says, we don't always recognize treasure when we see it. Later that day, Huckle and Lowly go down to the beach, dressed like pirates. They meet Mr. Fixit on the boardwalk. Yikes, pirates, he shouts. Don't be afraid, Mr. Fi Fixit. It's only us, Lowly says. We are on our way to find some buried treasure, Huckle explains. Then we will have enough money to buy our own pirate ship. But there is only one small problem, Lily says. We're not sure where to dig. Well, says Mr. Fixit, in the old stories, X has always marked the spot. Oh, look, there's an X over there, Huckle shouts. Bye, Mr. Fixit. Come on, Lily, let's get to work. Yo ho ho, and here we go! How deep do you think they buried their treasure? Huckle wonders. At this rate, we'll be in China soon, says Lowly exhausted. Suddenly, Huckle shovels hit something hard. Clank! Lowly, I've hit metal. It sounds like gold. Clank! Is that what gold sounds like to you? Lowly asks. Oh, it's silver. Look, it's a silver goblet. It looks like a Sprang, it looks like it sprang a leak, Lowly says. Oh no, says Huckle, disappointed. It's just an old tin funnel. No wonder we didn't find any treasure, says Huckle. Looking around, we didn't dig under the X. The X is over there. This is the right spot. Clonk, did you hear that sound, Lowly? Doesn't silver go clonk, Lowly asks. Yes, you're right, answers Huckle. But this is far too big to be a silver coin. Oh no, look, it's just an old wagon wheel. I don't think we'll find any treasure here. Oh look, Lowly, the shadow keeps moving because the sun keeps moving. I bet this drove the pirates crazy, Lowly replies. Well, that treasure must be here, somewhere. Mr. Fixit thought he would see how Huckle and Lowly were doing. So what have you found, mates? He asks. Well, it wasn't treasure, Huckle says, pointing at a heap beside him. Look at all that junk, Mr. Fixit. An old beach umbrella, a towel, a doll, someone's t-shirt, some old rope. I wouldn't call that junk, says Mr. Fixit. Do you mind if I borrow this stuff? You are welcome to it, Mr. Fixit, Huckle says. We finished hunting for treasure. Well, lowly, Huckle sighs. We can forget about buying our own pirate ship. Do we have enough money for ice cream? Lowly asks. Huckle looks in his pockets. Uh-oh, not a penny in sight, he says. We're pretty poor pirates, aren't we? Huckle and Lowly walk over to Bruno's snack bar. They both feel sad. No luck, says Bruno. That's rough, but you know, boys, I can tell you how to find some real treasure. Really, Lowly asks, how? If you take this box and pick up any trash you find on the beach, I think I might be able to help you. Oh well, Huckle says. It beats digging. Meanwhile, Mr. Fixit is busy in his workshop. Hmm, these boys can't recognize treasure when they see it. Mr. Fixit looks around for just the right tool to work with. Hmm, let's try this one. He takes a big mallet from the wall. Whack! Voila, says Mr. Fixit. Crash. Oh dear, the wagon's in pieces. Mr. Fixit thinks hard. Aha, he exclaims happily. He has had an idea. He takes a broom and sets to work repairing Huckle's wagon. 
Boy, Bruno has a funny idea of what treasure is, Huckle says, placing the last piece of trash in Bruno's cardboard box. Hey, you boys have done a wonderful job, Bruno exclaims. I've never seen a beach so clean. But where's the treasure, Huckle asks. They're in your hands, Huckle, Bruno replies. All these old cans and bottles can be recycled and made into new things, he explains. And your reward, reward for tidying up the beach is two ice cream cones. Bruno hands two big cones to the boys. Wow, thanks, Bruno, they say. Thank you, Bruno replies. Just then, Miss Honey arrives at the beach. Well, how are my favorite pirates, she asks. And how did your treasure hunt go? Oh, Miss Honey, you were so right, Huckle exclaims. We don't always recognize treasure when we see it. Ahoy, there are you on the shore. Are you ready to cast off, calls Mr. Fixit, rolling Huckle's wagon down the boardwalk. Our pirate ship, cries Huckle. Mr. Fixit, how did you do it? Lowly asks. As I always say, Lowly, one person's junk is another person's treasure, Mr. Fixit answers wisely. Your ship awaits, Captain, Mr. Fixit salutes Huckle. Wow, cries Huckle, taking the helm. Lowly jumps into the crown's nest. Ready to raise anchor, Captain? Cast off your bowlines. Shouts Huckle. He proudly steers his new pirate ship along the boardwalk. Huckle and Lowly are very lucky pirates, wouldn't you say? The end. Good night.